How are you doing guys? Uh, just another quick wee video of some of the toys in my collection. Uh, I'll just start up the top there, got some Thunderbirds. Um, I really like these, I had a few of these as a kid so um, I, was, I quite liked the Thunderbirds as a kid. Some of it scared me actually if I'm honest, just the way the, the puppets moved a bit but in general a bit of a fan. <laughs> uh, so I've got Jeff Tracy, The Hood, Scott Tracy. I don't know if these are variants or something because on some of these, if you notice, it's in red and then the other ones, it's not. So I don't know what that is. If anybody knows why that is, let me know. That'd be good. Uh, so I The Hood, Scott Tracy, Parker. See, there's another one, Red Brains, another one with the red around the right and Virgil Tracy. I don't know if it was to do with waves or what. I'm not very sure, but if somebody knows, it'd be interesting to find out. <laughs> um... Uh, I've got the A-Team figures here, I love the movie, though. I thought they did a good job of that, to be honest. Uh, it could have gone either way, it could have been utter shite, uh, but I think they got a nice balance, and it was a, quite a fun movie, and quite funny, and uh, I, uh, there's BA there, but I particularly liked uh, Hannibal, um, Liam Neeson played Hannibal, uh, superb, really well played, um, so, aye. Uh, and then we've got Bradley Cooper down there as Face Man. And then it's the South African boy, and I can never remember his name, but he plays uh, Murdoch, and he's pretty mental in the film as well. <laughs> uh, if you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. And then over here, a couple of Hobbit figures. These are going dirt cheap at the minute. Um, I think I got these at Toys R Us a while ago, and they only cost me, I think they were like 2 99 3 quid each. Uh, and they're really decent figures for that price, so I think they've got them in Asda. Is it Asda they've got them? I've seen them yesterday. Is it Asda? I think it's Asda, they've got a few of these guys. I think they're about five quid, maybe maybe four, I might be wrong, I'm not sure, but still not bad price. Um, so aye, not bad at all. Uh, quite detailed figures too. Um, so I've picked those up. I quite like the packaging on them, the, the bubbles are quite clear. Yeah, and they, they come with some great accessories too, so aye, they're worth checking out. i also got a double pack here. I might get the rest of them at some point, but I'm not too keen on the orcs and that in this range. I prefer like the sort of the hobbits and the uh, the dwarves and that. I, th I think the dwarves are cool. So yeah, that's them. And then also down here, I've got a couple of vintage collection. I've got Kibaba or Kithaba, Kithaba, Kithaba. <laughs> some sort of Chinese alien? No, I don't know, but he's pretty cool. And then also down here, I've got another one, Sand Trooper uh, from A New Hope, uh, vintage collection, obviously. Uh, and then I've got an original uh, Star Wars, Gamorrean Guard. Uh, that's the original from, I think it's 83, 84. So quite chuffed with that. And then my Black Series, Vader, RTD2, uh, Biggs Dark Lighter. What a cool name, eh? That's a sound name, that. Don't want to mess with him. Uh, Luke Skywalker. Uh, elite Clone Trooper at the end there, uh, 41st, uh, Clone Commander Neo, just next door sorry, Darth Plagueis, I've got one for trade actually if anyone's keen on that, uh, I bought two, uh, I actually bought three, um, I was going to open one and didn't bother, I uh, gave one to a pal and uh, but I've got one up for trade so if anyone's keen on that because I'm not going to take them out of the packaging, can't be arsed, uh, I've got a Storm Trooper there, up the top, uh, that's Anakin Skywalker, Bazam, <laughs> uh, Biker Scout, and Clone Trooper Sergeant. I'm not a big fan of the Clone Troopers and all that. I prefer the the original Star Wars trilogy, but some of them are quite funky. And if you want to collect the way the whole thing, you got to collect those ones too. So, but I'm missing the the obvious ones that are a bit harder to come by. Still pretty smart. And then I'll just show you my Stormtrooper picture. Well, it's because it's on the same wall. That's my Stormtrooper picture. I love it how it's it's from the first scene of New Hope, and in the eyes it's got the the guards from the first scene on the ship on the ship that Leia's on, and they're all shooting to fuck, and uh, well that's them anyway, and that's the stormtrooper looking at them. I just think that's smart, really cool. Uh, yeah, and then the other eye, I just see the other eye there is another trooper. So yeah, it's quite a, quite a smart piece, I like that. And then over here, just uh, Darth Vader, 30th anniversary I believe, quite smart looking. Yeah, picked them up dirt cheap, so I mean, the packaging is quite smart. It's nothing like the vintage collection or the actual vintage figurines it's themselves, but still pretty smart. And uh, that's it, I think. That's it for now. Um, hopefully, have a car boot hole on the weekend. 
Uh, but apparently there's a cyclone coming this way. It's absolutely pissing it down at the minute in Scotland. Uh, but apparently there's a cyclone coming, or it's the tail end of one, or it's going to hit France maybe, or some some shit like that. Uh, so I hope it hits France, not us. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Uh, I hope it hits none of us. Um, but uh, it's just the tail end of it, so it shouldn't be too harsh. Anyway, this is nothing. This is not a weather report. This is a toy review. Sorry, or toy collection. I'm rambling. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned hopefully for a car boot haul on the weekend. Cheers guys, see you later.